thank you for tuning in to a very special broadcast for all at the National Fenestration Awards. Over this past year, members from all places of the fenestration community in the UK have been helping to shape and develop the industry's very first awards of this type. The National Fenestration Awards were set up to let the industry choose and decide who it thought deserved recognition at the end of a very hard working year. We aimed to try and represent as many parts of the industry as possible as we felt there were some areas of our sector that were doing some great work but not getting the attention they deserved. Well, we have been overwhelmed at the response the NFAs have received from start to finish. This first year has been very much an experiment as we all find our feet with a concept that is very new to this industry. But we would like to express a very big and heartfelt thank you to everybody that has participated to make this work. And with that in mind, we are very happy to announce the winners of the very first National Fenestration Awards. Given the way social media has taken off within our industry of late, we felt it only right to open the awards back at the start of the year with an award that recognises the hard work people and companies put in to their social media campaigns and interactions. This was an award that had an abundance of nominations during the initial phases, so we thought it only fair to try and include as many as we could for the shortlist. And as expected, votes for this award came thick and fast, and the result was tight right up until the end. But we are very happy to announce that the winner of the Social Networker Award 2013 is Sarah Hitchens for Ray How. Much time is spent dwelling over the frames and glass our industry produces, and whilst that is a fundamental part of our industry, hardware is sometimes overlooked. Its importance is massive. Without hardware, our products simply would not exist. With that in mind, we introduced the hardware company category into the awards. The great responses continued and we were able to create a quality shortlist from the nominations we received. As with the Social Networker Award, the response was fantastic. It was a very close call. So close, in fact, this category was a tie. The winners of Hardware Company of 2013 are Trojan Hardware and Avocet Hardware. Young people, we feel, have been given a rather undeserved lazy tag by the media and we were determined to prove that this is not the case. There are a great many young people that are doing fantastic work in the fenestration industry, but there was nothing out there which we felt truly demonstrated the great work 16 to 24 year olds were doing. Hence we created the Young Person of 2013 category. We asked companies of all types to send in their nominees and to explain why their colleague deserved to make it through to the shortlist. This was one of the most popular categories in terms of the number of nominations, so condensing it down was difficult. We tried to include as many as we could. This category received the second highest number of votes and there was a clear winner with this one. We're very proud to announce that the winner of Young Person of 2013 is John Edmonds of Lister Trade Frames. Glass is one of the most fundamental products that our industry produces and the major glass companies are one of the biggest driving forces behind our progress. They are responsible for pushing the boundaries of energy efficiency, leading to the very high quality products we are all privileged to be able to sell to the consumer today. The National Fenestration Awards wouldn't be a complete awards without a category dedicated to the glass systems companies of our sector. As expected, a couple of the biggest names were thrown into the mix, as well as some less well-known but just as important establishments. Voting was unbelievably close and we have another category with joint winners. The winners of Glass Systems Company of 2013 are Pilkerton Glass and St Gobain. <laughs> This was going to be one of the biggest categories within the National Fenestration Awards. The resulting shortlist, based on the nominations we received, demonstrated how far the aluminium sector has come back into the industry, with four out of five finalists coming from this sector. 
Nonetheless, the field was of a very high quality and included some stalwarts of the aluminium world. Again, this category was very well voted for, but there was a clear winner in this award for this first year. The deserving winners of Systems Company of 2013 is Shuko UK Limited. Composites, both in windows and doors, are one of the fastest growing subsectors within the whole fenestration industry. So we thought it was perfect to introduce a category specifically for the composite market, as well as the well-established panels market. There are some big names in the composite and panel door market out there, and the nominations we had sent to us in the initial stages reflected that. Producing a shortlist for this award was tough, but after condensing the information we had, we felt the final shortlist reflected well upon the industry. This was a very hard-fought category, with the voting extremely close right up until the very end. But we do have a winner. The winner of the Composite and Panel Doors Award 2013 is Solidor. <laughs> In an industry full of PVC, it is sometimes easy to forget the great work timber window and door companies do. Timber is on the way back in a big way, and during the setting up of the National Fenestration Awards, we wanted to recognise the great work the timber industry does within the wider sector, as sometimes timber doesn't get the column inches and coverage it should. Although not the most popular category, the quality of the nominees and the finalists demonstrates the very high standards to which the timber industry prides itself. There was a very clear winner in this category. The NFAs are happy to announce that the winner of the Timber Award 2013 is Dempsey Dyer. <laughs> Carrying on the string of material-specific categories, we announced the Aluminium Award. Given its striking comeback in previous years and a very positive outlook in future years, an award specifically for aluminium seemed a good fit for the National Fenestration Awards. Again, we knew this competition was going to be very tough, and so it proved to be. We had some very high quality nominations, and the final shortlist shows off some of the best aluminium companies our industry has. Another hard fought category with plenty of votes, but there was a clear winner. The winner of the Aluminium Awards 2013 is Aluke GB Limited. <laughs> Last, but certainly not least, we come to the PVC Award. We understood that this was going to be one of the biggest awards of the whole event. PVC systems companies, manufacturers and installers make up the vast majority of the UK double glazing market right now. And the fight for this category was always going to be fought out between some of the biggest and most well-established companies, as well as a few others starting to make big waves in the industry. Nominations for this award came thick and fast, which made for a quality shortlist at the end of the first phase. So many quality companies, but there can only be one winner. So the winner of the PVC Award 2013 is Vika. <laughs> The Cool Wall was a small side project that started as a bit of fun, but snowballed into something much more popular than we thought it would be. The Cool Wall was a monthly competition where all companies, both in the residential and commercial markets, could submit images of their work where people could then rate them on a one to five star rating. Each month we would declare a winner and then start the competition again the following month. It was so popular that we've decided to run it as a bigger competition alongside the main awards, with a wall of winners announced in November. Registered users on the site were able to vote for their coolest installation of the year based on the monthly winners. What this mini competition did was demonstrate some of the most extravagant, highly bespoke and quality projects that our industry carries out, but what we don't always see. What we felt it did was to show that our industry isn't all about the typical double glazing installations, surely a good thing if the industry is to improve its image in front of the consumer. After some intense rating, however, we are proud to announce that the coolest installations of 2013, as voted for by you, are Glazedale with this installation and New Look Windows with this one.
It has been a very busy but very enjoyable first year for all involved at the National Fenestration Awards. It was a scheme that was received far better than we ever thought it would be. We've so much more interaction from all parts of the industry than we thought possible in this first year. So we would like to thank every single person that took the time to register, nominate, vote, tweet our links, follow us on Twitter and spread the word. Without your participation, these wards would simply not have worked. And for that, we are very grateful. We would also like to extend a massive thanks to the companies that sponsored us throughout the year. GQA Qualifications, Ultraframe, Solidor and Glass News. Without their support, our message would have struggled to get out to the industry. But their backing has been so important in this first year and will help us build a better awards going into 2014. And lastly, a big well done from the whole industry to the finalists. Whether you were a winner or not, making it to these final stages to be recognised for the hard work and effort you all put in is a great thing and proof that people really do acknowledge the energy and time spent on what you do. So well done. And a final note from us at the NFAs, we will be back in the new year with an even bigger and better National Fenestration Awards. We'll learn our lessons from 2013 and you will see a fresh, slick new awards for 2014. So keep following us on Twitter and register on the site to keep up to date on all NFA related news. The whole team at the National Fenestration Awards would like to wish every single one of you a very Merry Christmas and a well-deserved, relaxing and prosperous New Year.